namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na ang gagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Hello learners! How are you today? I hope you are safe and healthy. Welcome to another lesson in Valenzuela Live 239. I'm Maria Aurora Cruz, your TLE teacher for today. Prepare this before we start our lesson. Learning module pen, and paper. Enjoy learning! Let us check what you have learned last lesson by playing the balloon game. Let's proceed. Directions. Read each question below, then type your answer in the comment box. If the answer is correct, the game will continue, but if not, each balloon will fly away until the box drops. Let us start. First word. It is a simple mixture of flour and water that is used to make crepes and pancakes. What is the answer? Butter? Why wrong? Because it is spelled as B A not U T E E R. Butter with U is different from butter. Number two. Apply the blank principle to store food. What is the answer? The answer is first in, first out. Next, number three. Wash hands thoroughly with running water and soap for at least blank seconds before and after handling food. Answer? Let us try 60. The correct answer is 20. Number 4. Choose food, blank, its expiration date. If your answer is before, you are correct. Number 5. They ensure that the food you handle and produce is safe for consumption. Answer? Proper hygiene. The correct answer is sanitary practices. Good job, learners! For today's lesson, the learning competency is prepare the search. And for the learning outcome 2.4, follow workplace and safety procedure. At the end of the lesson, the learners are expected to Number 1. Identify the safety procedures in the kitchen. Number 2. Create a slogan about safety procedures in the kitchen. And number three, appreciate the importance of following safety procedures in the kitchen. Before we proceed to the topic, let us play another game. Are you familiar with the game Pictionary? Let us read the directions. Guess the word using the drawings shown as clues. Type your answer in the comment box. You have 10 seconds to answer. Let us start. First word for 10 seconds. Answer. Kitchen. Next. Second word for 10 seconds. Answer, safety. Next. Third word for 10 seconds. Answer, 
answer procedure well done learners our topic for today is about the safety procedures in the workplace specifically the kitchen the most important concept to remember is that you are responsible for your own and other safety most safety practices are simply common sense Unfortunately, they can be forgotten or overlooked unless you make safe practices a habit or an instinct. Also, the incident that we don't want to happen in the workplace is accident. We can avoid it by having awareness and following the safety procedures. Kitchen safety awareness is crucial during food preparation and cooking as well as during cleanup. That's why the safety procedures are important internal control for it ensures the welfare of every person in the workplace. It also lessens the injuries and reduces the risk to health and safety of individual for carrying out the task. Here are the safety procedures that must be followed when working in the kitchen. Number one, wash hands often with the use of water and lather up with hand soap. Scrub the back and front of your hands between the fingers and your fingernails. Wash for at least 20 seconds and rinse under running water and dry with a clean towel. Rinse all fresh fruits and vegetables before eating using clear, clean water and no soap. Don't put cooked food on same plate, tray, or cutting board with raw or ready-to-eat food to prevent cross-contamination and the spread of bacteria. Raw meat, poultry, and seafoods are more susceptible to certain foodborne pathogens. So it is important to keep this food separate from other items whenever you use or store them. When you finish measuring perishable foods, return the excess in the refrigerator or ice chest. Storing food properly maximizes the shelf life and protects it from contamination. Wipe up and clean spills immediately. Keep paper towels, dish towels, and pot holders or other flammable materials away from stove tops and oven doors so they won't catch fire. Turn the handles of cookware inward on a range. Turn pot handles away from the front of stove so that children cannot grab it and adults will not bump into it if it is out of way. Never add water to a pan that contains hot oil or fat in it since Hot fat will splatter out of the pan and could cause burn. Never put water on a cooking fire. Ask an adult to put out the fire quickly. Do not try to move a burning object to other place. Remember these procedures when putting out small fires. For small pan fires, use a larger lid to smother the flame. For grease fires, Use baking soda to put out the fire. If your clothes catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll. Furthermore, always have fire extinguisher or baking soda readily available in the kitchen in case of fires. Another safety procedure is to use knives properly. Use sharp knife. A sharp knife is safer than a dull knife. Never use a knife to open cans or fry lids. Using a knife appropriately can help prevent serious injuries to keep yourself from sustaining a knife-related wound or laceration. Also, it is proper to use cutting board when cutting and cut food away from your body. Wash and store knives and other sharp objects separately from other utensils. In addition, store knives in a dry container such as wooden block or drawer. Dress for safety. 
wear shoes that cover your feet, and avoid wearing sandals. Keep hair out of the foot or tie back the long hair. Wear clean head covering such as a ball cap, bandana, chef hat, or hairnet. Avoid loose fitting clothes. Take off jewelry including earrings, necklaces, bracelets, and rings. Be careful not to get burned. Open pan lids away from to safely let the steam out and avoid steam burns. Turn off burners, oven, and other hot equipment as soon as you finish using them. Keep hands out of hot pans. Moreover, let people know that you are coming with something hot. And use thick, dry pot holders when handling hot pans. Keep pot holders nearby but not near an open flame. And also, avoid leaving the kitchen while cooking. Remember that electricity is not a friend of water. That is why you should keep electric appliances and cords away from water. Keep cords away from heat sources or from hanging over the edge of the counter. And don't forget to turn off appliances and unplug them as soon as you finish using them. Make sure you have dry hands to unplug and unplug something. It was mentioned earlier that hand washing is part of the workplace safety procedure. Aside from this, due to pandemic, hand washing is very necessary to avoid the spread of COVID-19. Here are the steps of proper hand washing. Please do not forget the proper procedure in washing your hands. Now, let us move on to the assessment. Directions. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Write the answer in your TLE notebook. You have 5 seconds to answer each statement. Wash hands for at least 2 minutes. True or false? for 5 seconds. Number 2. Rinse all fresh fruits and vegetables 
before eating using clean water and soap. True or false for 5 seconds. Number 3. Do not cross-contaminate food. True or false for 5 seconds. Number 4. Turn pot handles toward back where no one will knock them off the heating element or table. True or false for 5 seconds. Number 5. Wipe up spills after air drying. True or false? For 5 seconds. Number 6. Add water to a pan that contains hot oil or fat to avoid it to splatter out of the pan. True or false? For 5 seconds. Number 7. Wear shoes that cover your feet. True or false for 5 seconds. Number 8. Open pan leads away from you to safely let the steam out. True or false for 5 seconds. Number 9. Use salt to put out grease fire. True or false for 5 seconds. And last, number 10. Run fast in case of floating fire. True or false for 5 seconds. Let us answer. Number 1, false. Number 2, false. Number 3, true. 4, true. 5, false. 6, false. 7, true. 8, true. 9, false. And 10, false. If you got a perfect score, excellent learners. What you have learned today? the workplace safety procedure, and also the proper hand washing. For your assignment, directions, make a slogan on following the workplace safety procedures. You will be rated using the rubric below. 25 if the content shows much relevance to the topic and done creatively. 23 if the content shows relevance to the topic and creative. 20. The content shows enough relevance to the topic and creatively enough. 18. The content shows not so relevance to the topic and simply done. And 15 points if the content has no relevance to the topic and poorly done. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure by Benjamin Franklin. And that's the end of our lesson for today. Again, I'm Maria Aurora Cruz from my son National High School. Ano man ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Goodbye and God bless.